Chuck, wait! Who are you? Do you remember the little boy that lived next door to you when your dad died? Ned? Oh my god, hi! Oh, how are you? Good, you look great. Do you know what's happening right now? I had the strangest dream I was being strangled to death with a plastic bag. You were strangled to death with a plastic bag. It's probably an odd thing to hear, but I wasn't quite sure how to sugarcoat it. Oh. Oh. You only have a minute less. What can I do in less than a minute? You could tell me who killed you, so, you know, justice can be served. Well, that's really sweet, but I don't know who killed me. I went to go and get some ice and I dropped my room key in the ice making machine and just as I thought, well that was stupid, somebody put a plastic bag over my head and then I... Just a second. Is my time up? I'm sorry. Well, thanks for calling me Chuck. You know, no one's called me Chuck since... since you. I used to. When I lived next door to you, I had a cr... I was in... You were my first kiss. Yeah? Well, you were my first kiss, too. Do you want to be my last? First and last. Is that weird? That's not weird. That's symmetrical. Look, if you don't want to kiss me, that's okay. I just thought it might be something. No, I, I do want to. I... What if you didn't have to be dead? Well, that'd be preferable. Nobody can know. Hop in. I've got to think of a way to get you out. Can you lie really still until I get back? Yeah. So, I can't even hug you. What if you need a hug? A hug can turn your day around. I'm not a fan of the hug. But then you haven't been hugged properly. A hug is like an emotional Heimlich. When someone puts their arms around you and they give you a squeeze, and then all your fear and anxiety come shooting out of your mouth in a big wet wad and you can breathe again. That's fine for someone else to if I'm choking on something other than an emotion, but you can't hug me. So a kiss is out of the question. That's my train of thought. <laughs> How long have you been thinking about this? Well, like, thinking, thinking. It wasn't premeditated, I wasn't lying in wait. Well, like I was musing on the idea. Not like, you know, dwelling. Uh, there were times I did dwell a little on you, about you. But I wasn't actually considering it until the moment I did it. Or didn't do it. <laughs> I always wondered if you'd come back. I guess you came back right when I needed you most. Well, no, that would have been before I was killed, but this worked out. <laughs> you understand you can't go back, right? You can never see your aunties. They go off their rockers without me. And besides, they're shut-ins. It's not like they talk to anyone. And people aren't used to this sort of thing. There are issues of morality. How come she's not dead anymore? It would be a disaster. Well... I suppose dying's as good an excuse as any to start living. 